Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Rodney Samuels here with another video to help you out when you're out there looking at used cars to make a purchase. These are some of the things that I look for when I'm looking over a pre-owned car before I make a purchase. These are some things that you might want to look out for also if you don't have a mechanic to look over the vehicle. These are pretty basic things that you should be looking for. Now, as I'm approaching the vehicle here, what I'm looking for, I'm looking at the paint. I'm checking out the paint all over the vehicle, looking for scratches, dings, anything major like that. Okay. You want to look out for that. And also one of the main things I'm looking for in the paint is discoloration. Okay. I'm looking at it from an angle. And a lot of times when you're looking at this angle, if the car has been repainted for some reason, maybe with an accident, the paint will be faded or sort of look warped at an angle when you're looking at it. So check for that. That could be a sign of an accident. Also, I want to check out the molding on the vehicle. As I'm rubbing my hand along the top there, that's molding that helped keep the rain outside of the vehicle, keep the rain from running down into the trunk, things like that. There's also molding around the windows you want to check out. As I'm approaching the rear of the vehicle, what I'm doing here is I'm checking out the seams. The seams are two pieces of metal that come together. I rub my finger along the seam. Okay, I'm doing that to feel for any unevenness. If you feel any major unevenness when you're running your finger along these seams, that could be a sign of an accident that happened and there was body work done, especially up here along the hood. This is something that you want to look out for. Check for any unevenness that you feel on your fingers when you're rubbing there. Okay. Also, Check for the inspection sticker. The inspection sticker a lot of times is right here on the vehicle in certain states or could be on your license plate. If the, if the inspection stickers are very old, that means the car has been sitting for a while. So just be careful with that. Check out your windshield wiper blades. Make sure they're not too worn and cracking because that can be a major issue and you don't want to find out about that when you're on the road driving. Now we're going to inspect the tires to see that there's adequate tread on the tire. If there's not, you will fail inspection. We're gonna take a penny, turn the penny upside down, and we're gonna use the top of Lincoln's head as a guide. When you stick the penny into the tread, the tread needs to cover the top of Lincoln's head. As you can see here in this tread, it's barely touching the top of Lincoln's head. So this tire is gonna to need to be replaced soon. It's barely touching the top of his head. Okay, now we're going to go to another tire and we're going to do the same thing. Also, while you're down here under the car, check for any oil spots or leaks underneath the car. Okay, now check out this tread completely covers the top of Lincoln's head. This tire is good to go. There's plenty of tread on this wheel on this tire. So no problems here. Also, while you're down here at the tires, checking for the tread, checking for spots underneath the car, rust underneath the car, okay? Make sure all your tires are the same size, okay? You will run into major problems if you have different size tires on your car. This, this car has a 215-60 R16 wheel on it, as you can see here. So make sure they're the same size. They don't always have to be the same brand. That is ideal, but not completely necessary. Okay, over here to the front tire, 215-60-R16. These tires are all the same, good to go. Now we're underneath the hood of the vehicle. We're gonna be checking out the battery. This is corrosion on a battery, very bad corrosion. You wanna make sure these terminals are clear of corrosion. Check out this battery here in the car, very clean. See that right there? No corrosion. If you have corrosion, it'll mess with the contact and cause issues. Okay, we're also checking while we're under here for cracked tubing. All right, check your fluids, your windshield wiper fluids, steering fluid, your coolant for the radiator. There are markers on these containers here that let you know what levels they should be at, okay? Belts, drive belts, make sure there's no cracking. Tubes, this is what a cracked tube looks like. 
these tubes have air that runs through them. If you have leaks in these tubing, it'll cause major problems. Make sure there's no missing clamps on these tubes. Very important stuff here. Basic stuff for you to look at if you don't have a mechanic. Now guys, when you're inside the vehicle, checking out this used vehicle, I want you to check out a few things. As far as the wheels and the brakes go, the wheels, I already showed you how to check the tread depth, all right? When you're riding, make sure there's no bumps. Sometimes it can be air pockets or damage to the tire, which will cause the car to jump up and down and ride really rough because you have a bubble in your, um, in your tire. You wanna make sure you don't have any of those. When you're pressing on the brakes, when you're slowing down for maybe 40, 50 miles an hour, make sure there's no vibrations in the steering wheel or in the brake pedal. That could be an issue with your brakes and your brake rotors, okay? Also, for your alignment, you wanna check your alignment. A good way to check to make sure your alignment is decent is to get on a flat road, a straight road, okay? And when you're driving, you can be doing about 20, 30 miles an hour, and then let go of the steering wheel briefly and accelerate. If your car starts to pull to either side as you're accelerating, if it starts to pull drastically, then you know you have an alignment problem, okay? It has to be a drastic pull, not just something minor, all right? And always remember to check your Carfax. Go on Carfax, it costs about $20, $30 to get a Carfax, find out all the title history on your car. What you're looking at here is a portion of a sample Carfax report. This is very important. This is the last step that you wanna make sure you do before you purchase this vehicle. This will show you important things like the number of owners the vehicle had. It'll tell you what type of title it has. If it has any title issues like a salvage title, salvage means the car was totaled and maybe it was rebuilt for resale. It'll let you know if it had flood damage, the number of accidents it will also let you know the service records, which is most important to me. This lets me know how the prior owners and how often they took care of their car, whether they took it to the dealership for service or whether they took it to Pet Boys. All the service records will show up here as long as it's registered. All right, guys, that's it. That's the end of the video. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment or question down below and share this video. Don't forget to subscribe. See you guys next time.